What do you get when you take favorite old recipes and heart healthy science and mash them together? You get really tasty heart healthy treats. And I am so excited because I'm going to take one of my mother's and one of my old favorite treats, mash those together, also throw in the heart healthy science and share with you a recipe that I ended up inventing last weekend that's actually good for your heart, not just not bad for it, actually good for it. And I'll also give you a little bit of science behind some of the ingredients, but most important, I'm gonna give you the recipe and then you can go enjoy it in this Heart Health Month of February. Welcome, I'm Sherry Traxler with Vireo Life, author of Go Forward, 28 Days to Eat, Move, and Enjoy Life God's Way. The first part of this recipe inspiration came from one of my mother's favorite, old-fashioned oatmeal cookies and you can see a note that she has here it says this is a good one took these to Washington she was a high school English teacher she was my high school English teacher and she would have students win essay contests they would go to Washington DC golly she's I don't know how many times she went and but several and these were obviously cookies that she enjoyed that the students enjoyed and they traveled well my favorite is the chocolate oatmeal drop cookies. Those are unfortunately just like these, super high in sugar. And I'm gonna talk about that ingredient in a moment. And also very high in butter, very, very high in butter. And, you know, butter, fine to have it, you know, sometimes a little bit of it as a treat, even in ingredients in things. But from a heart health standpoint, a lot of butter on a regular basis is not the best thing for your heart. And I like to have treats that I know they're good for me and they taste amazing. And there's something I don't have to think about, oh, I can only have this once during the year or twice during the year. I've, I like to not have that kind of deprivation because of my old diet mentality. Now, the sugar, I mentioned that. Let's just take a for instance on this. This recipe has one and a half cups of sugar and it has four cups of grain. So two cups of oats, two cups of flour. That is almost a two to one ratio of the substance of the cookie to sugar. And having basically half of the ingredients be sugar, for me, I'm just thinking, I just don't, I, I know sugar is inflammatory if you are kicking up your blood sugar a lot in a recipe. And again, nothing wrong with sugar, have it, enjoy it. But that level of it for me on something that, oh, this is making a batch that I'm gonna eat for breakfast, for snacks on a week or two. I don't, I personally don't want that much sugar. The, oat, the chocolate oatmeal drop cookies, same thing. Half of the recipe basically is sugar and the other half is split between oatmeal and butter. And I was like, that's great for truly a treat where, oh, it's a couple of times a year I'm having it. But again, these are treats I wanna be able to have that I know are good for me and that I can have all year long. How do we make this healthy? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, it'll be easier if I just pan this down so I'm gonna switch cameras and show you what I've got down here. Main ingredient is oatmeal. We've got three and a half cups of oatmeal and a half a cup of quinoa flour, two cups of applesauce, unsweetened applesauce, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, a third of a cup of raw honey, quarter cup water, three-fourths of a cup of pecan butter, quarter cup cranberries, couple tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then our cookie cutters. I said I would tell you about the unsweetened applesauce. A lot of times we think of the only sugar in a recipe being added sugar. But even if you're adding fruit or some type of fruit product, you're going to have some sugar added. This one has in a half cup, 
12 grams of sugar. Now it's naturally occurring. It's not a processed sugar. It's just apples that are ground up. Apples have natural sugar in them. But just be aware that that's one reason in this recipe, I only need a third of a cup of honey. One, honey is naturally sweeter to the taste than a white processed sugar. But the other reason is there's two cups of applesauce in there, no added sugar in the apple, no processed sugar added, but a lot of natural sugar in there and that's okay. And I think I hear my water for my tea about to boil. So as soon as it does, I'll pop off of here, get my tea. Cause that's one of the, okay, this is just a side note. I really enjoy having a hot tea while I'm cooking. Cause honestly, cooking and baking is not my favorite things to do. Um, but I like the results, so I do it, but having a hot tea along helps me with that. But until it does, we'll keep going. I take my dry ingredients and put them all in together first. Cranberries. I'm going to wait and put the cocoa in after I've made some. Doug does not like chocolate. Doug is sensitive to chocolate as far as digestive system, so... We put the chocolate in for me after I've done half a batch for him. Then we'll put in the wet ingredients into the applesauce. Now I'm mixing up the wet ingredients and then we will mix them all together. That water is taking a long time to boil. I want my tea. This is just folding them together until you get a consistency that you can work it with your hands. If you want to do these as a bar treat, which was how I made them last weekend, you'll line a nine by nine. I think it's a nine by nine pan. I'll, when I get my water, I'll show you what the nine by nine pan, nine by nine pan looks like. Line that with parchment paper, press it down and then bake it. And I will for those of you on my email list, you'll get this recipe. Um, if you're not on my email list, it'll be in the description below in the YouTube description. There goes my water. I'll be right back. This is chamomile and lemon balm. We're just going to let this brew for a little bit. Nine by nine pan. This guy, and I believe that's a nine by nine. It looks like a nine by nine. And anyway, I put parchment paper on the bottom and did this makes enough for two of these. So I made one for Doug and one for me. And we still, of course, it's enough really to last for two weeks because you're just using a little square. It's just enough to get a few bites to tide you over. Or in our case, we've used them to travel. Also for desserts, just anytime you need a little bit of protein, fat, and carb mix. And this is just about... Mixed up, enough, mixed up enough now that I can make cookies out of it. Before I show you how I'm forming these cookies, which there's several ways to do it, I wanted to talk about the heart healthy part of this, a little bit more science on the ingredients. The oatmeal is without a doubt, research hands down, very heart healthy because it has a it's high in soluble fiber. It's in fact, it's one of the top 10 highest per serving in soluble fiber and soluble fiber lowers cholesterol and helps to prevent heart disease. Also that applesauce is very high in a soluble fiber called pectin and same effect. It's going to be great for digestion as well as the fact that it's, of course, it's a binding agent for this. It's kind of a, a glue. The cranberries, they're just there for flavor and I use them because they're red for Heart Healthy Month. The pecan butter is a healthy fat. So you need healthy fat in your diet for your heart health, for digestion, for brain health, everything. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. How do we form the cookies? Now this is, it's ideal for bar cookies. I've already told you about that. Let me see if I can hold this up. They're not gonna slide. This is, my baking tray. And you can see they kind of have a heart shape. They do not, it's not like a regular rollout cookie that you cut with a cookie cutter. It doesn't have that consistency. 
So what I'm doing is just taking a little bit of the approximately amount that would fit in here, putting it on my cookie sheet like you would a drop cookie. Let me show you what that looks like first. You know, these are rough. We're not, we're not super fancy in this house. Um, then I take my cookie cutter just to shape it. I probably need to show you this, don't I? We're gonna do this one-handed while I have my phone camera in my hand. Just putting it in the little cookie shaper cutter because it does not roll out. Mashing it down. Take that off and if you really want it to be, you know, all pretty, you can take off the extra or you can do it like we do and just have it, oh yeah, that resembles a heart. If you don't want the effort of making it into a shape of some sort, of course you can just do it as an old fashioned drop cookie, kind of flatten it out just a little bit because it doesn't have the butter content it's not going to spread like those oatmeal chocolate cookies that I grew up with. So I'm going to keep doing this and then add the chocolate in and do that batch and then show you what it looks like at the end. But I did because I want to say it was because I wanted to show you what these look like when you do them as a bar cookie. But reality was after a whole bunch of heart makings, I was like, no, I'm, the rest of this is going in a bar. So if I can do this without burning myself because these are literally fresh out of the oven. So this was what I did for the bar cookie was just put the parchment paper in, formed a big block, and then they will, once they've cooled in about 20 minutes, I'll cut them into little squares. And I want to show you the hearts because they did, they actually turned out really, really fun. So this is happy Valentine's and happy heart month to all of us with some heart healthy treats. The ones on the outside are chocolate. Oh, I hope they don't fall off as I tilt this up. The ones on the outside are chocolate. The ones in the middle are without the chocolate and they really do look like little hearts. I'm so pleased with them. And in fact, when Doug came downstairs, he was like, oh, those are so fun. Like, good, making something he's gonna like too. Thank you so much for being here. I will put all of the recipe that I concocted on this down in the description. And again, if you're on my email list, you will have a printable version of this coming to you in your email. Thank you for being here. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of these. Click that notification bell so you find out when they go up. Thank you for making heart healthy choices for your life and for those that you love. Until next time, find your unique path and fulfill your potential.